I've been traveling around looking at a lot of different booths, looking at how things are progressing on 5G. One of the things that stands out with me, you know, obviously the as we get closer to live networks, or we actually do have some live networks, I should say, this year now, the actual kit that's going up and being deployed has certainly shown maturity. But I'm seeing some trends out in terms of continued improvement where we're seeing a lot more focus on making it easier for the operator to deploy. So shrinking down, say, the massive MIMO antenna, reducing the power for savings on OPEX and heat, dissipation, and all those areas. I'm wondering, what, what has your company done in that area this year? Absolutely. So we've moved from demos to trials to live commercial mm -hmm. networks. And mm -hmm. so in, in places like Korea and in the U.S., we've deployed 5G commercially at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we're seeing now and what we're showing in our booth is really using the strength and the capabilities mm -hmm. of Samsung to drive down, like you said, mm -hmm. the size, weight, and power of our equipment. So we've just announced our second generation mm -hmm. chipset for RF components. So it supports both 28 and 39 yeah. gigahertz, uh, including a D-Day mm -hmm. front end. All of those have been turned into A6 in order to drive down the um, the size of the equipment. Right. So we've got a 25% improvement mm -hmm. in our millimeter wave 5G base stations coming out later this year. So that's really exciting. Yeah. It certainly simplifies the mm -hmm. site access process, permitting the obtrusiveness of any equipment. Yeah. And so it's really, uh, we think, going to accelerate 5G rights. Right. No, I definitely agree. I mean, the easier it is for the operator to deploy, the more they'll deploy, the faster they'll deploy. But look, I know Samsung Networks is a lot more than just the radio. And clearly, you know, you've made a lot, you know, talk about how you know, you're pretty much an end-to-end -end system provider. Could you share some more with me in terms of what you have in terms, especially say around the packet core or other types of solutions to help operators in terms of, you know, automating their networks, creating more efficiency and optimization? Absolutely. We're doing a ton of work beyond the radio, where we believe we have mm -hmm. some of the best solutions. Uh, on the core, mm -hmm. we're working closely with our operator partners on moving toward 5G standalone core yeah. equipment, but we're also working to add more capacity mm -hmm. to LTE networks, bringing control and user plane separation right. back into 4G LTE. So that's going to dramatically add the flexibility and capacity of the core. We also, in the fall, acquired a company called Z Labs, yeah. based here in Spain, incidentally that does AI-based analytics mm -hmm. for service assurance and customer care. A lot of work going on around yeah. tools and automation because as we move toward 5G, it's becoming mm -hmm. more and more important to let the computers kind right. of figure out how to optimize the network and sure. optimize the user experience. We also have this tiny little mobile device business. I've heard about it. Last week announced the yeah. Galaxy S10 5G device. Right. Really beautiful phone. Mm -hmm. We've had a number of folks say to us, I really thought that first 5G phone would be clunky and Right. painful to use and all that, but you pick up that phone and it, it really feels like a super premium smartphone. So we're excited about bringing a whole bunch of different yeah. 5G solutions to market across our businesses. Well, beyond that, of course, I mean, operators want to make money. And I mean, the obvious place they're going to start is with enhanced mobile broadband, which is essentially basically adding more capacity to an already congested network. But that's not really something different than LTE. It's kind of just LTE better. Operators are investing a lot, and they keep looking for new ways to make new new areas to make revenues. So, I mean, what are some of the use cases? What are some of the areas that you're looking at here at Samsung to try to help operators move along in those areas? Yeah, absolutely. Monetizing the 5G network is very important. Mm -hmm. What we're seeing as the first use case out of the gate has been fixed wireless access. Right. Right. Simple approach leverage the NR network that you're already building yeah. to uh, provide broadband mm -hmm. for home and enterprise in a way that opens up a new revenue stream yeah. and brings competitiveness to a broadband market mm -hmm. that in some countries hasn't been very right. competitive over the years. Beyond that, we see lots of interesting mm -hmm. use cases around both consumer and enterprise. Yeah. Consumer, we're showing an interesting cloud gaming demo mm -hmm. here using edge compute platforms. Right. Uh, and then on the enterprise side, mm -hmm. all kinds of really compelling use cases from public safety to manufacturing, yeah. warehouse automation, um, and then connected car. Yeah. We happen to own a company called Harman International, one mm -hmm. of the largest automotive electronics right. suppliers in the world. And so they're doing a lot of work around mm -hmm. telematics control units yeah. that become 5G capable over the next couple of years. Yeah. So really exciting times mm -hmm. to bring 5G to so many different touch points right. for consumers and businesses, solve real problems. Yeah. Well, I certainly think that those new use cases will be very important in terms of making 5G a real success. So I'm really looking forward to see how that evolves over the next couple of years. 
Um, let me ask another thing. This is one of the terms that we love to throw out as analysts <laughs> in the mobile area, ecosystem. Because, you know, mobile is supposed to be everywhere, but no one company can do everything everywhere. So you have to create partnerships, join alliances, things of that nature to really create, you know, that word ecosystem. Yep. Do you have any announcements or what is Samsung doing in that area? Absolutely. So as much as we can touch so many different parts mm -hmm. of 5G, we're also very much about open. Yeah. We're very much about open interfaces and open ecosystems. Mm -hmm. And you see that across many of our businesses. We own smart things and it's right. an open ecosystem around the smart home. Mm -hmm. So we've joined, uh, just announced that we joined the ORAN Alliance. Okay. Um, we had been uh, active members, active contributors mm -hmm. to the XRAN Forum. Right. Uh, and so that as that organization has moved into mm -hmm. the ORAN Alliance, we of course are continuing to be a part of it. Yeah. Um, bring open interfaces into the radio network, mm -hmm. which has traditionally been closed off and, and limited innovation right. and flexibility. So that was really important. We also mm -hmm. announced partnerships with companies like HPE this yeah. week. HPE and Samsung are working mm -hmm. together in two areas, actually from edge to core. On the edge side, we're yeah. working with the edge line mm -hmm. 8000 platform that HPE announced okay. to bring VRAN capabilities mm -hmm. uh, to operators and eventually enterprises. Yeah. And then on the core side, we're working together on 5G standalone mm -hmm. core, which is going to become a really important part yeah. of the 5G network over time mm -hmm. as we introduce capabilities like network slicing. Right. Absolutely. So that's really good. So do you have any other final big messages from Samsung when it comes to Mobile World Congress this year? Yeah, well, I see, you know, yeah. we think this year is a great example, mm -hmm. and, and future years will be even right. examples of how Samsung has so many different business yeah. units that are touched by 5G, mm -hmm. right? And whether it's networks, or components and yeah. sets, or mobile devices, or automotive, right. or uh, use case customers like manufacturing mm -hmm. and healthcare. Yeah. We think that uh, Samsung can really help the overall industry yeah. really understand how to build the best 5G networks mm -hmm. and then how to take advantage of them and monetize. Yeah. Well, fantastic, thanks. Thank you, Daryl.